We're going to give uh, Bleak a hand here. Probably played this map more than Panic. I'll uh, observe a couple more games, see how these go. GDI Mirror. Panic's pretty good with GDI, so... And I haven't been too impressed with Bleak's GDI Mirror performance. I did play him a couple games, GDI Mirror's back, and he just did not have a single chance. He doesn't play them correctly. But, we'll see. In this game. Infantry is omitted by a lot of GDI players in the mirrors. It's a big mistake. That's often what wins it for the other team. You don't have to go heavy and just spam like 10, 15 missiles. And if your opponent doesn't respect that, doesn't build, I don't know, half a dozen APCs or more, then they're going to be very cost effective. Hammerheads are always going to be a threat, but if you combo that with APCs, with AP ammo, missiles and AP ammo APCs, yeah, good luck with hammerheads. You don't even have to put the missiles in the APCs, just have them around your APCs and the APCs along with them will completely massacre hammerheads. Nice map though, I will say. Panic is the Cyan GDI over here on the left hand side. So far he has a 1-0 scoreline in this tech well it's not really a series but he is winning this so far. this APCs is he going for no he's not he's going for just missiles okay the red alert 3 player is going for a low eco strat I expect him to control those APCs well considering there's not much else happening probably worth it to send the engineer to this defensive tower I do it myself sometimes is he taking blue type room oh no panic is instead He's got halves to here. And Bleak's not going to notice it. Is he going to micro this back to the war factory for repairs? It's very low on health. This harvester may die. Oh. He's going to notice. Okay. Well, that's certainly dead now. Panic's going to not do a whole lot against this. A blue crystal spawns. Obviously, that's old news by now. You guys would have thought that that was always part of the game. Panic's in trouble. He's only got two pit bulls. Is this what I think it is? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? You see, he's, he's rig, he's rig rush, he's rig pushing. No way, he's getting AP ammo. He's getting AP ammo. Well, yeah, rig rush. This, this dude's learning fast. He is a fast learner. Rig taking a lot of damage. But uh, it's not going to do a lot. APCs will be forced to pull back. APCs as well. A handful of Predator tanks. Some Panic infantry. Panics ahead? I, well, not really. 
you can be forced to pull back the mines along with the infantry. If those Preds step over those mines, that's going to be disastrous. Oh man, he's going to lose one, I think. Oh, look at that. Mine damage. So critical in this point in time. Beacon comes down on the barracks. Well, I didn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it would. Needs to get another refinery. Panic as well. Kind of bleeding a bit. He's got orcas. Five out on the map. I think that has been... We have ourselves orcas on the right-hand side as well. So they're doing the exact same thing. Wow, that's, that's pretty amusing. He's going orcas. Both sides are. The panic didn't achieve anything with his, and that's a huge deal. The harvesters are all pulled. Maybe that was a mistake. That's a lot of... Uh... Oh man, the MCV. Nicely spotted there. Oh, oh no, that was so close. Harvester does live. You know, I think these Prez can go on the counter-attack now, and Bleak wouldn't have a whole lot to stop this with. It has a lot of Predator attacks. That's going to buy Panic time to get his Conyard back out. He's also got five Orcas, which are keeping these forces busy. So the counter-attack damage is happening. Panic needs to control his Orcas. This is a pretty good game, guys. But I don't know if Bleak has enough to stop this. Oh, he may he may do, actually. This is a tier 3. I think what he really needs here is a war factory. A couple shatter attacks would be great. Infantry as well. Ouch. Direct hit on a couple of harvesters. Those orcas, if they return, they can snipe them. Broke Missile Squad one of those APCs, and the Orcas are flying in. Those AP ammo guns are so powerful against aircraft. I think that was a missed opportunity. Well, maybe not. Panic is going to pull back, though. He did get his Conyard back out. He's bleeding a bit. I think Bleak's in a better position. He's got more Harvesters, and he's going for an expansion. Infantry coming out full blue tip field almost in the middle these APCs are very wounded and panic's going to lose a harvester okay panic going in for the counter attack orcas make it out alive don't ask me how the conyard must have almost been sniped oh that was just a step too far In cannon. Bleak has such a huge army. How does this get stopped? Uh, Panic does have a conyard. Uh, AP ammo is online too. That Pred army is looking pretty intimidating, but that's so a decent defensive position. Uh, the Orcas may turn out to be the difference. Uh, Orcas going for the Predator tanks. Okay, pretty smart choice, but they are going to pay for the, with their lives. Orc is going to go down. The AP ammo APCs are still there. Still going. That's a ton of predators. I don't think Bleak can push this. This game is not going to conclude. APCs will fend the pit bulls off. Panic. Going to be pushed back over there. And here we see another engagement. Panic with a micro. Orc strike hits those predator tanks. This turned out to be a pretty good game. Pred of the tanks. Uh, I don't know if I think Bleak's overstaying his welcome. Yeah, he needs to pull back. That's a lot of Preds getting repaired near that war factory, but the focus firing is decent. Police can actually trade very well there, uh, thinning out the majority of Panic's Pred of the tanks. And I think Bleak has it. Yeah, he's got four because on the deck. Panic did a good job in that fight. 
and he's actually a pretty uh, low on HP. He probably could move some of those forces, uh, pro the tanks on full HP forward, so the ones that aren't can be defended better. Infantry being summoned in, okay. Mammoths. Panic trying to establish an expansion. He's got harvesters. Oh, a firehawks are out now. Okay. Well, with those firehawks, there, there is a chance. And the mammoth tanks too. That needs to be pulled back. Yeah, that's uh, crazy expensive hardware. Can't afford to throw it away like that. This APC sadly will be going down. And Panic, he's paid a little bit more attention to this this engagement here. He needs to go for a sonic emitter. Probably has one queued. Yeah, there we go. No railguns, but the mammoth tank is going to be a tough nut to crack. And I think this game's turned around once again. Oh, no, not if the mammoth tank gets thrown away, though. Now these predator tanks can just snipe everything. Out of the tanks there. Oh, the harvester was sniped, I think. Panic denies the expansion. Panic does have an expansion of his own, but he doesn't have anything against these orc, these um, predator tanks. Hammerheads, okay. That's actually a pretty decent transition. There's no anti air there either. And if Panic establishes a second rep on this field, maybe he has a chance. Oh, it's Navasonic emitter. Oh man, these tanks are getting torn up. Bleak will establish an expansion. Panic as well, struggling to get down an expo. And this is tier 3 is going to fall, I think. It's going to be so close. This Orca Strike, is it going to finish it off? The Firehawk might be able to snipe. Oh man, that was so clutch. Well, that's going to deny the Marv. Bleak's actually ahead, I think. I what the hell? What a game. This game is pretty crazy. I don't know who is winning. Is Bleak winning? Uh, hard to s actually. I think both. S is he on tier three? Yeah, he's on tier three. So Bleak does have an advantage, but Panic does have a better economy on this expansion. And the Hammerheads are wreaking havoc here. Harvest is going down. Double A turret will go down. Look at that micro Panic. The hammerhead micro there, well done. Yeah, this game is pretty sick, I will say. Yeah, I, it's gone back and forth like uh, uh, so many times. I've lost count. It's still gonna, it's still gonna go on. I can't believe it. Is it really gonna reset to square one? Oh my god! Panic gets his tier three down. <laughs> This guy does not want to die. Three hammerheads and a firehawk. Now, here is where experience matters, and I want to see if Bleak knows where to where to go from this point on. So far, he's done a phenomenal job to get himself into this part of the game. That orchid transition stuff was crazy early on, and I. I mean, you would have thought, like, by now, some player would have won the game based on all those orcas we saw. But uh, it doesn't appear like that's the case. Panic has to now deal with some pit bulls. Four uh, firehawks. Pit bulls are going to sweep in. No mortars. Could upgrade that. Would be a nice uh, thing to go for. Uh, n none of this area can be hey defended guys, with sonic mortars. This is no... Oh, mortars are online. Yeah, but as I was saying, like, there's no way to put sonic emitters here, so this base is going to be destroyed. The refinery doesn't go down. <sighs> Bleak has his own firehawks. Fire, um, Juggernaut, okay. 
There's a couple zone troopers. Shouldn't put them in the hammer. It's unwise to, because I think he's lost his air superiority. Uh, Marv is the call here for Bleak. Against the Juggernauts, man, I'm not sure if uh, that's going to be a good option. Again, these pit bulls are so good in the back. Oh, man, Panic's going to struggle here, but then so is Bleak. Bleak doesn't have anything to defend his base. He's only got one Marv and a Hammerhead. Now these Juggernauts are going to start shelling this base. There's nothing to defend against the Hammerhead. The MCV will go down. Bleak is going to take out that MCV. And here are the Hammerheads. But again, Hammerheads against Pitbulls. Oh, no, they shoot the Zone Trooper. Hammerhead shoot the Zone Trooper, man. That's not good. And he's going for the Harvesters and not the Hammerheads. Those Pitbulls. Oh, my God, man. Those Pitbulls just got totally wrecked. Totally wrecked. Are the Firehawks still out? Yeah, the Firehawks are out, so those Hammerheads should be taken out. Yeah, there we see them all go down. All but one. Never mind, that one does go. Against these... Oh, is this Juggernaut going to come out? Oh, it's going to be so clutch. Oh my god, he doesn't get the Juggernaut out. And now the Mars moving forward. The Juggernauts may need to pull back. This Juggernaut is getting stacked up. This is going to be so clutch. The Marv is going to take out the Juggernauts and the APCs. Oh my god. This, this may be just enough. Mind drop though. Oh, and the Zone Troopers. The zone troopers may kill the Marv. There's one zone trooper left. It's got two members. Oh, this is so close. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. Slingshot's doing what they can. This Marv's just out healing the damage. Panic's running out of time. He's running out of resources. Don't know if he's got an MCV. We see he still maintains his tip spikes, but yeah, Bleak does have the Firehawk. That might have really the fall there. And now the Mammoth Tanks are starting to come out. And Panic, I think. I think he's run out of steam here. He does not have any eco to rebuild his army. There's nothing I can see on the map. The Marv hasn't been repaired. He's only getting repairs from these. Engineers garrison. You've got three engineers in there, by the way. That was a really good game. I think at some point Panic lost his uh, conyard. And Bleak will take this game. I don't see how Panic can kind of recover from this. I mean, he's got two juggernauts, but they are not going to cut it, I don't think. Or maybe, maybe, uh... Does a smart thing and takes out the husks. Bleak going for orcas, okay. He's also spamming mammoths. The Marv has recovered half of its HP. Two more mammoth tanks coming out. Oh, I, I don't see it, man. He really needed, f like, five juggernauts here. Long leeching Tiberium. These Firehawks are looking for targets. Not going to find any though. Zone Troopers. Okay. And he's going to have to micro. Oh, the Orcas are overhead. MCV comes back out. Oh, those juggernauts are going to get taken out. MCV as well. What is it doing? It needs to redeploy. Oh man, both the juggernauts fall. That's going to be it. Yeah, the Marv's pushing forward. There's nothing to resist that Marv. Oh, 
It's a pretty action-packed game. GG Panic. Loses that one. Wow. What a good game. Well done to uh, Bleak for taking that. He made some good decisions in that game. Look at the eco graph. 20 minutes almost. That's crazy. Almost 20 minutes, the, neither side was able to uh, do the killer blow. They both took the same eco damage. Panic was actually hit at some point. That was really good. 